Hello and welcome to Betrayer. Um, it's been a while since I played this. I actually started this back when I tried to do myself as the Wimpy Man. Which this game showed it a little bit. And that was so long ago I can't even remember what was going on. So I'm going to start a new game. And the first thing you see here, it is pretty much black and white except for the color red. However, I do want the color to come up a little bit, if I could remember where it is. Down there. Bring color saturation up to 0.4. Nope, I didn't mean that. There we go. Alright, so now bringing the saturation brings the color back a little bit. And yes, I'm aware I'm going to lose everything I have saved. Oh well. Black Powder Games production. Ron Harvey. Blake Hirsch. Craig Hubbard. David Longo. Larry Palicelli, I don't know how they pronounce that. Brad Pendleton. Wes Salisbury. Alright, so I've been shipwrecked on the New World, America, and that's something I don't remember seeing. There's a Spanish ship in the background. <laughs> Alright, so I need to remember my controls. So Y and right trigger are both that. I can zoom in. I have magic eyes. Okay, so yes, I'm shipwrecked and I can't go scavenge for supplies. But I can break boxes and get nothing. And I can get a single longbow arrow arrow in that crate. I can speak. I'm good at it. Not going to question the way you ship your things, but I'm thinking one arrow to a box and one musket load to a box is probably not going to uh, be very efficient. Nope. X. 23 coins, which is the currency. And another single longbow arrow. Alright, so I'm going to make my way up this path, and I'm already sprinting. In fact, it's toggle sprint, so that's good. And I do know there is a side path here to find the lookout tower with another chest. Big chest for not many coins. So now into the forest. Where I shall meet for the first time the maiden in red. Thanks, lady. I do not know who you are or why you've come here, but you should turn back lest you become trapped in this place as I am. Notes unbound. Oh, that should should be bound. I'll figure it out later. So you can learn about people. Your notes will let you, you know, summarize what you've done so far. And investigations are things just like side quests you can accomplish while you're going. All right. I'm going to need a weapon soon. I don't remember what I have the enemy set at. I gotta check real quick. They should be deadlier? Yes, deadlier. Makes it more fun. Because with deadlier enemies, they're more observant and harder to kill. Dear sir or madam, I have come into possession a number of fine items of exceptional quality and indisputable value. 
Yada, yada, yada. I'll put my trust in your honor to leave payment for whatsoever else you choose to purchase. Re respectfully, John Howe, merchant. Thanks, John. All right, so I have everything I could have at the moment. So now I have my longbow. It's shoddy? Yeah, shoddy. Or is it cracked? I don't remember. Wrong button. Wrong button. Cracked. Because your well-being is important to me, both physically and sentimentally, I feel I should advise you that enemies are easiest to slay if you catch them unaware. So, yeah. Uh... So, John Ho Howe is the merchant. And my first enemy shows up right there. Small bits of red in the forest. So now that he's moving, I can line up my shot and headshot. I think he's the only enemy in this area so far. Actually, for this area, because I know the end is right up there. And he had a silver fork for me. Thank. Thank you, I mean. <laughs> Thank. Thank the silver fork. All right, so now that all the chests in this location have been found, I got a note. <laughs> and another note from John Howe. So I'll skip through the loading screens because they can take forever. All right, I need to turn my own volume up. See, I do believe I have a map somewhere. Read all of that. Where do I find map? I don't remember how to find my map. Hey, a tomahawk. Remiss of me not to mention that enemies are more likely to discover you if you are moving. Crouching makes you significantly harder to detect and allows you to move quietly. Use wind to your advantage. Gust will make your, mask your footsteps, making it easier to run up behind foes without alerting them. Thank you, merchant. You know quite a bit. I already know how to crouch. I'm doing it. So yeah, in black and white, those guys stand out quite a bit more. So that's why I like the bit of color. There we go. He didn't like uh, the arrow bouncing off his head. I wonder where it landed. It landed somewhere. Oh, oh, there it is. So it's always good to pick up the sh shots you spend, if you can, of course. All right, so Fort Henry is just up there, and that is my first checkpoint and I'm not sure what flag that is okay no there's not an enemy down there right now several among the council are wary of treating with the naturals yes so you find some of the backstory through notes that are hidden around the map and the door opens on its own but i'm hoping those guys down there don't spot me so yeah the front gates open on their own like there's someone here and as you're about to find out no one's here kind of d-pad up for the map so the odd thing about this is i can fast travel wherever i want and my thing is not moving. Nope. So my con uh, console, uh, what is it? The, the pointer is not moving at the moment, so I'll f see if I can figure that out later. Drinking from a barrel will restore health and refill your water skin if you have one. I'll, I'll get one shortly. 
But a quick exploration around here, I find Indian arrows, most likely intended for the head of a century. More clues. So, Indian arrows, notes of all that fun stuff, and a trowel. Thank you. I'll need that for when it gets real fun. Can't carry more of that ammo. Hey, another note. Indian king, whom they called Wawarints, is much pleased by our gifts. Good! Though the figure appears human, it is only of ash and ember, and now it's broken. So I can't dig that yet. I need a good shovel. An ornate bell. I know where the bell goes. Musket loads. All right. <laughs> if Markiplier played this game, he'd be going crazy over the boxes by now. Hey, another ash figure. Oh, my God, that's actually what it said. Well, now a broken ash figure. Oh, I forgot about the graveyard. Graveyards. Always fun in a game like this. Lord Governor has determined that we cannot spare any men to send to Fort Henry. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going to have to turn the sensitivity of my uh, look up pretty soon. So that's where the bell goes, but I'm not done exploring this at the moment so if I find anything interesting better than a chest hey I got a charm though what's this one do uh, I've lost I, I don't remember how to control all this reload muskets pistols and crossbows 5% faster with that charm beautiful so yeah I'll be back if I find anything real interesting more Indian arrows yeah. Hey, I found the water skin. Um, D-pad left to use it, which is good that I know how to use it. <laughs> My dear sir or madam, I hope the bow I gave you has been of reasonable service, but I would encourage you to consider some of my finer wares. I accept coin or barter as you see fit. Yep. Um, I don't have enough loot for anything I really want. But I think I can just sell shit from here. But I have nothing to sell at the moment. So. Now for the real fun. When you replace the bell and ring it. Everything goes black. And which one is this? Oh, I missed the thing. It was it was an eye so that I can see things that were not there. Yet another ash figure. Broken, that's what they could be. According to our prisoner, the Spaniards seek to destroy sediments that might be used for privateering. Pirates. All right, so I need an ear. <laughs> Lovely. Heavy and warm, just like the eye. And now the best part, the tongue. It, too, is heavy and warm. So now, the specters I can see, hear, and speak to. The wraith, I mean. Who is Martha? My wife. Who are you? I am Captain William Eastgrove. Where did you last see her? On a hillside. We were sitting together. I was holding her hand, talking about our son. I shall find her for you if I can. Hate to interrupt, but who are you talking to? I'm not crazy. I was speaking to a wraith named William Eastgrove. But I see no one. He appeared in the dark when I rang the bell and vanished when the daylight returned. In the dark? How can that be? The sun has not moved in the sky. Are you certain of what you saw? I couldn't see him until I found this strange eyeball. You know, if I was better at editing, I'd put an eyeball in my hand right now, but I don't know how to. 
So, someday, maybe. That is an unsettling discovery and an odd thing to pick up. <laughs> I personally find the tongue more unsettling. You didn't lick the wraith, I hope. Though I confess I am suddenly curious when what it might taste like. Yeah. Who are you, lady? I... I can't remember. I am sure that I lived here for this place is familiar. But it's like a dream I can't quite recall. Do you remember anything? My sister. I have been searching for her, but I can't remember her name either. Perhaps she is hiding from the Spaniards, for they seem more beasts than men. Spaniards? I have seen no one but you since I awoke in the forest, days ago. I assure you that there are no Spaniards here. Not anymore. <laughs> one of us is not seeing the world as it is. Then I hope that it is you, for I do not wish to see the things you speak of. What did the Wraith want of you, anyway? He's searching for his wife. I would help you find her, but it is hard to track what one cannot see. Well, um, yeah, so she wants me to tell her all about my adventures with ghosts. Where shall I find you if I have news to report? Let us meet in this fort for now. I should also like to learn the outcome of your search for the Wraith's wife. I can't help but to worry what has become of her. Very well. Listening will lead you to areas of interest. All right, so different locations in the normal world, which is this one, and the other world, which is the... Things get pretty scary from what I remember. Be sure to listen in both. Not right now. Down on the D-pad. You can hear it now on the uh, on the upper part of the screen on the compass. It borders it a bit, but I don't need anything right now because I di I didn't get any more money. So I'm gonna check out this grave real quick. Reginald Millet, a true gentleman and a scholar, probably. All right, man, just look at that view. I love I love the depth of field there is to it with the slight uh, fogging in the background. That, that is pretty awesome. Anyways, once the wind dies down, perfect. Even better. So I want to thank you for giving me your time of day so I can throw it out that window over there. And if you like this video for some reason, go ahead and hit that like button and why not subscribe? What's the worst that could happen? Anyways, thank you and I hope all of you have a wonderful day. If I keep drinking like this, I'm really going to have to pee later. Oh well, it's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, have a good one.